Idrenus felt like she was being pulled without any force being applied. It was a disorienting feeling, the way everything just seemed to fade away. Just as it faded out, there was a rushing sensation. And then, she was standing in front of a large city. Living in Prelanthia, Idrenus had always thought that their city was designed to withstand nearly anything. Looking at how massive and imposing the walls to the city looked, she understood that she was overestimating the ability people have to build cities. Priestess! She started looking around after her impression of the city fell away. Idrenus! Rolissa called out to her and rushed to hug Idrenus. A feeling of relief passed through her body, now that she knew that Rulissa was here too. For a brief moment, Idrenus thought that she was separate from her. The sight of Sarah holding the dagger above Rulissa was still burned into her mind. I will never leave your side, Priestess. She held onto Rulissa as if she was going to disappear. Once the both of them felt better, they separated from one another both of them blushing from such an open display of emotions. Priestess, Idrenus was about to say before Rulissa stopped her. We are no longer in Prelanthia. You do not have to address me as Priestess, she smiled looking at her. But, Idrenus tried to argue, but the angry expression on Rulissa's face made a pause. I understand, Rulissa, she smiled. Rulissa grinned after getting her way, and then they both looked at the others. Aside from E and his group, everyone else was looking around in bewilderment. Hyun was the first to break the silence. E, where are we? Looking at all of them, E answered, Due to what we saw on the monster continent, I thought it was better for us to arrive at a location where everyone would be safe. He looked a little concerned after saying that. It appears that our trip to the monster continent was when we went back, instead of when we initially thought it happened. Though this does not explain why those demons were released in our period. What if we did not go back but went forward, Celestra suggested. E's eyes opened wide at her suggestion. He placed a hand on his chin and thought about the idea. So, does this mean that everyone else is still safe from the overflow? Hyun asked, sounding relieved. For now, Brittany dumped water on Hyun's joyful expression. Brittany, that was a bit harsh, was it not? Celestial rebuked her. Brittany glanced at Hyun, shrugging her shoulders and turning away from Hyun. Celestial looked at both of them, trying to understand why Brittany was acting like that. Recognizing that the situation wasn't critical, she only sighed in frustration. She walked over to where Hyun was standing, and they seemed to talk about something. By the way Celestial was rubbing Hyun's shoulder, Idrenus saw that Celestial was trying to cheer her up. Hyun just dumbly nodded her head at whatever Celestial was telling her. The others in E's group just looked at the two of them with apathetic expressions. It seemed like something was going on between Hyun and E's servant. Idrenus and Willissa looked at one another and silently agreed to stay out of it. Instead of standing under this hot sun, how about we head into the city? E suggested to everyone, appearing to disregard the obvious tension in the air. Will there be any issues for Willissa and me in entering the city? Idrenus asked E, feeling concerned that they would be alone in this foreign place. E laughed at Idrenus' words and shook his head. There will be no issues, considering this is my city. Idrenus and Rulissa stood there staring at E as he walked towards the city. Rulissa was happy that she and Idrenus were able to escape from that place. Though she was saddened when thinking about all those people that were left behind to be eaten. She clenched her fist in anger towards the gods, who played with everyone's lives. Feeling Idrenus' hand on her shoulder, she looked at her and saw Idrenus smiling. Unclenching her fist, 
Melissa tried to forget about the past and live in this moment. She was initially surprised at the hearing that E was the one who created the city. He didn't appear to be someone who had the resources to build such a place. The walls appeared very sturdy, especially when they approached the walls. Welcome to Felicitas! The guard greeted them very casually, very different from her own experiences. May I ask the reason for the visit? For those interested in becoming citizens of Felicitas, we have a simple process to those just arriving. Those visiting will need to... The guard trailed off as he started to notice some of the people in the party. My ladies! Forgive me for not recognizing all of you. He quickly bowed in front of Queen and the others. Around them, several guards approached and each of them greeted the women. Brittany, Queen, Anaclis, and Rossia just casually acknowledged the guards. Let the relevant individuals know that some in our group will be taking up residence inside the city. Brittany informed one of the guards, indicating towards those behind her. In front of them, there were several carriages that rolled up. E and his group got into one of the larger ones. The students divided themselves into small groups. Idrenis, Hyun, and the girl that Hyun brought and she entered into another carriage. Once they were all set, the carriages began to move forward and entered the entrance into the city. As they traveled through the opening, Idrenis mentioned, I have never seen a city design the entry into a city like this. The way we are going diagonally into the wall, I imagine trying to break into the city would be very difficult. All the force of the army would be directed off-center, significantly diminishing the power of an army. I do not know if any army would be able to invade this place, Hyun murmured. The walls would make it even difficult for monsters to scale over. Melissa was quiet as she looked around. Soon, the tunnel into the city ended and they were flooded with the sun. Her eyes were filled with the scene of massive structures, entirely different from those inside the place she grew up in. If there were a word for what could describe the sight of this place, it would be how organized everything looked. There wasn't the usual casualness inside of the city due to the nature of the buildings being built as the population grew and the businesses flooded in. What is this delicious aroma? Hyun exclaimed looking at the small shop selling goods. Everyone looks very happy. It makes me feel like I am back at home. Idrena smiled, enjoying how children were playing with one another and mothers were chatting with each other. There were even fathers who looked to be debating about various topics. Many fathers seemed to be taking care of the children in the city. Normally, the men would be off working on the farms or other areas, but here they are casually enjoying the day, Hyun spoke out loud. Melissa agreed with their assessment of the surroundings. This was very unusual, even in a city that was led by a woman. There also didn't appear to be the slight tension seen on people's faces as they went about the day. The people here seemed to be happy and relaxed with a level of assurance that was never seen in other places. I do not hear any bartering inside the shops, Hyun exclaimed after a short while. Until Hyun had mentioned this, Melissa didn't take any notice, but after hearing this, she tried to look more closely at the small shops. During the day, the stores would be loud with people negotiating prices and the shop owners trying to attract customers. This street was primarily filled with the casual conversations of people walking around. In front of one of the stores, a group of kids was dressed in some type of uniform and enjoying some kind of treat. They were laughing and appeared to be in high spirits. One of them looked over at the three of them and waved a hand. The other kids looked at who she was waving at and saw the carriages going past. All of them smiled and seemed curious as to who these new people were. Melissa grinned and waved back at them, 
Happy that the people here were so outgoing and friendly. 